Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Ken Johnson from Teledyne LaCroix. And behind us is a scope that's really good at making high side gate signal measurements in the presence of like really high voltages. Ken, why don't you tell us a little bit about why sure. you would use this, um, why you would use this floating measurement as opposed to like a high impedance probe instead. Sure, okay, great. So yeah, so this is a high voltage fiber optic probe. This part floats, and we use optics to get that signal into a receiver demodulator that connects to the scope. The advantage is, is we have this very low uh, attenuation tip that keeps the noise down, that improves the CMRR, and con combined with the fiber optic op isolation, we get 140 dB CMRR, which is really, really good. Uh, we can measure a signal up to 40 volts swing, or we can measure down to plus or minus one volt. So it's great for upper side gate drive voltages. Uh, the product is uh, very small, very simple, very compact, so the parasitic capacitance is very low and very affordable. It's only $4,000 complete with a tip. And so it's a really great uh, product uh, simply for measuring an upper side gate drive, for measuring a floating sensor signal, or even guys at EMI, EMI uh, uh, EMC labs who need to get a small signal measurement out of their lab, yeah. out of their bombarded environment into the scope, it's great for that as well. Now, some, now Ken, some people would just use a battery powered scope yeah. to look at signals that float. Would right. this be better than that? Be better than that, so it's a little dangerous sometimes to float your scope. A battery powered scope, a little bit better, but a lot of times those also come with isolated inputs and they have a very long capacitive lead which is going to cause a lot of ringing on the signal. That's never good at voltage. So just because it's battery powered, just because it's got built-in isolation, doesn't mean that it's going to make the measurement really well. So this would be a superior approach. Interesting. You got a couple of waveforms here. Tell yeah, us yeah, yeah, sure. At. So this is actually, the yellow waveform is measured with our HVFO. And the pink waveform here on the right, it's the same measurement, but it's made with a conventional high attenuation differential probe. Hmm. And so this is what most people are used to seeing with their high voltage uh, differential probe, which is not really great. That's an upper side gate drive. You see all the uh, CMRR causing all this interference here and the noise and the distortion on the signal. And the HVFO is nice and clean, nice and square, like what people expect. Yeah. And if I take that and I just move that over here, uh, we can see how that compares. It's quite a dramatic difference. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, thanks for that, Ken. That was very interesting. All right, you're very welcome. Thank yeah. you.